satisfied with everything that's been going on now? You got the Big Ten title game, all that. Is it satisfaction yet, or are you still just riding the wave? No, uh, I remember that exact question. I remember exactly what I said. Uh, I said, you know, satisfaction will be felt in January when the season's over. So, uh, you know, I'm still sitting here, late November, and uh, no satisfaction. But, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we've had some success and some things like that. But, um, you know, still a lot more to go after. Mike, uh, how can you quantify the impact that, that Joe Moorhead has, Moorhead has had on this offense? Yeah, Coach Moorhead has came in here and instilled a lot of confidence in, you know, each and every player. Um, he's brought in a great scheme for all of us to, you know, be successful in. Um, and I think that, you know, the numbers and all that kind of stuff show it. Uh, I'm appreciative of Coach Moorhead and, you know, thankful to play in this offense. Uh, more importantly, excited to play in on Saturday night. So. How, what do you see in Wisconsin's pass defense, and how well do you guys as an offense match up with them, do you think? I think Wisconsin is extremely successful with their entire defense. Um, specifically, you know, talking about their pass defense, I think that they're um, very talented in the back end. Um, I think that, you know, they, they bring a good, you know, combination of size and speed um, you know they're good with the ball in the air and uh, you know but obviously you know you're not making the Big Ten championship game for no reason so that's kind of what we expect and I'm um, excited for that opportunity. Challenge on your end though I mean to, to face a secondary like this? Talk yeah absolutely a uh, challenge that you know myself and the receivers are looking forward to as well um, so you know being a competitor that's something that they look forward to and I think it's gonna be a great opportunity for us. Mike what's changed for you this week facing three four defensive preparation instead of a senior probably facing four um, I guess just the looks that, that we're getting in practice and all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, it's something that we haven't seen in a little bit. So uh, to go against just a different front is, you know, obviously just going to be stuff that we prepare differently in practice. How does it affect the offensive line having to deal with, I'd say, quicker athletes on the whole of the box? Yeah, um, I mean, they, they, they still get to some four down stuff and some things like that. So, uh, you know, at the same time, you know, it's kind of going to be similar as to some other things that we face this season. But, you know, just like any other week, we got to prepare for, you know, what this team's going to give us. Mike, do you remember about your first meeting with Joe Moorhead? And what has he said in that that's kind of carried through to now? I remember uh, Tommy Stevens came home, and he's like, hey, like, I just met the new OC. Like, he knew my name and everything. And I'm like, oh, like, he knows Tommy's name. He's going to know me, right? <laughs> so I walk up there and knock on his door, walk in. I'm like, hey, coach. He's like, hey, what's your name? I'm like. <laughs> All right, well, good start. And uh, kind of introduce, introduce myself from there. And then, uh, um, you know, just went, moved forward and uh, went through spring practice and just tried to prove myself to him. And uh, I think that everything's worked out with him. So. Mike, you um, are involved in the run game and the pass game. Yeah. Uh, how close do you think the offense is to achieving balance and being able to run or pass in that situation? I think that we're extremely balanced. Um, I think it just depends on the game. You know, we've had games where we've come out and, you know, we've only thrown it, you know, 13, 15 times, but then we hand it off to 2-6 and we let them be 2-6. Or, you know, we've had games where, you know, like, like the last game where, you know, we're going to take some shots down the field and uh, try to expose them in, the, in that way. So I don't think it has to do with, you know, us saying, you know, we're going to run it here, pass it here. Just kind of taking what the defense gives us. Do you think Moorhead was maybe messing with you a little bit? I mean, considering what he had done with tight ends where he had been before, I mean, he had to know he had a guy like you with your measurables on the roster, right? Uh, I mean, maybe. Um, didn't, you know, have the impact I wanted to last year, so that could have played into the role. Um, I was also injured at the time when he came through, so. Mike, uh, Wisconsin running back for on the team, Jersey guy. Yeah. Do you guys pass at a cross? Um, I actually visited Wisconsin when I was in high school. Um, met him out there. He probably doesn't remember. Um, but he's obviously from South Jersey. He went to high school with Jawan. So, um, I mean, just another Jersey connection. You guys are the second, I think, youngest team or one of the top five youngest teams in football. You're playing for a conference championship and a chance to go further. How do you explain that? Um, I think that that's just the, the coaching staff and, you know, the, the position that they put us in each and every week. Uh, they put us in a position out here, you know, um, Tuesday through Friday to come out here and, and prepare at a very high level. So this way that, you know, the, the age and the experience, all that kind of stuff doesn't even come into play because on Saturday it doesn't matter, you know, if you're a true freshman or you're a fifth year senior, you know, you have to go out next year. Yeah. Going off the house, you know, I believe you're excuse me, you get involved over the uh, receiver of the bar with the O-line. How do you see the team? I think that, you know, there's been a few guys that have stepped up as leaders, uh, you know, Trace being one of them. Obviously, you know, being the starting quarterback, uh, that's kind of one of the one of the roles that, that comes along with that. I think that he's done a great job with that as well. 
Um, Saquon is a, is a very vocal leader, leader for us as well. And you know, I've also tried to take it upon myself to become more of a leader. Um, sometimes, you know, I don't, I'm not going to say as much, but you know, trying to lead with my actions and things like that, maybe on the practice field or you know, on the sideline during the game, going up, trying to talk to some guys. So I think that you know, leadership in every single position. What are your thoughts on James being named Coach of the Year? I think that you know, he's uh, very deserving of it. Uh, very, very happy for Coach Franklin. Um, you know, I've said it from the time I've been here. You know, I love playing for Coach Franklin. He's always had my back. I uh, have talked to him in you know, positions uh, facing adversity and things like that. He's always been there for me. Uh, appreciative of him for that. And you know, for him to you know, come in here and you know, have the success that, you know, that he's had and that this team has had, um, I think that he really deserves that award. Happy for him. What's his biggest strength, Mike? Who's that? James. <laughs> I would say probably his, just his, like his energy and you know, his, his confidence and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's contagious to the guys around us. You know, you see him you know, after a guy scores a touchdown, you would think he scores a touchdown. You know, he's running around, chest bumping people. Um, it's fun to see that uh, out, out of your head coach, and it's, uh, it's contagious to the guys around us. Did he know your name the first time he? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Mike, going back to the youth on the team, there's been a lot that this program's had to go through externally and internally. How has the maturity of this team, even as young as you guys are, played into the role of the success you've had this year? Yeah, I think that you know, I think that you know our our team, obviously being young and all that kind of stuff. I think that with the success, uh, you know, that that we experienced this season, I think that it's helped us, you know, grow and mature as the season's going on. Um, earlier in the season, you know, we we hit some adversity, you know, in, in some games, and you know, the the lack of experience kind of showed. But then, as the season is going on, we we're able to progress and um, not kind of let the experience and the young guys kind of get to it, but rather, you know, those guys grow old in that in that position. Mike, what have you seen so far this week that's shown you just how excited, uh, you know, the, the fans, the alumni, and students are this week? Um, I know that the line for the tickets was like. Off the line was damn near off campus, so I mean that's kind of what we expect, though. You know, Penn State has you know the best fans in the country, um, so that's kind of what we expect. Uh, we appreciate them, obviously. You know, regular season's over and all that kind of stuff, but you know, going undefeated at home at Beaver Stadium, uh, giving us a huge home field advantage, and uh, we can use every single one of them out there in uh, Indianapolis. Have you had any memorable interactions with uh, you know going around campus or downtown this week? Um, I mean, I've seen some people, you know, and. You know, everybody, you know, good job, nice touchdown, can't wait to see you on Saturday, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, everybody's out there and they're all, you know, huge supporters and, um, you know, we can't thank them enough. Uh, you know, they play just as just as big as a role to uh, all, the, all the success that we're having this season. Two more. How has that motivated you? you this, again, this program has been through a lot and the community mm -hmm. is stuck around. So yeah. how has that motivated you to want to come away with the win in this championship? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, our fans have, you know, been through a lot. Um, and, you know, for them to kind of see us having the success that we're having this season, um, they deserve it just as much as we do. Um, we appreciate them, you know, just, you know, you know, sticking by our side through, you know, some some adversity and, you know, some some downs. And now, you know, they're they're kind of, you know, feeling this, this uh, success as well. So to go out there on Saturday, obviously, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to, uh, you know, go out there and, you know, play for a championship and, uh, you know, thank our fans. I know that you can I know that you all can't in imitate the uh, Wisconsin secondary, but what have you done? What have you seen from the defense that they've been trying to do in terms of look to help the offense out um, for this week? Yeah, our scout team has done a phenomenal job all season long, um, and you know the the GAs that that kind of run the scout team, you know, Tommy Gall and Joe Brady, they do a great job going out there and you know getting the getting the guys in the in the right spot and you know telling them just just exactly what to do. Uh, they've they've given us a, a great look all all week long. And have prepared us for Saturday. Um, obviously, it's hard to you know get that exact same speed and all and all that kind of stuff. But you know they've they've done a great job and they've uh, really helped us out. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.